My name is David Gelman, and I'm a professor of history at DePaul University, where I've taught since 1999. Although I'm out here in Indiana, I've spent much of my scholarly career going through the archives of venerable New York institutions, particularly uh, Columbia University's rare book room and manuscript room, uh, the uh, New York Historical Society, uh, and a special shout out to the John J. Homestead uh, in Katona, New York. I've spent 20 plus years researching the Jay family and their connection to slavery and abolition across multiple generations with the sort of centerpiece being 1777 to 1877. And what I wanted to do was to see how this family, this family that deeply um, engaged in New York's elite uh, family trees and therefore slaveholders transition from uh, modern abolitionists to radical abolitionists and then how they um, sorted out the meaning of emancipation in the wake of the Civil War. And so that created three central figures in my drama, John Jay, uh, the famous founding father, founder, uh, the inaugural U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice, uh, and inaugural president of the New York Manumission Society, one of the world's first anti-slavery organizations. And yet, as part of this slaveholding family and a slaveholder himself, um, kind of had his uh, feet in both camps in the revolutionary era. But um, his children, particularly his son, William Jay, became a um, radical abolitionist who believed that immediate emancipation uh, was the only just and only uh, expedient solution to the moral and political problem of slavery. And his son, John Jay II, um, was also deeply engaged in the movement um, and uh, lived well past the Civil War and therefore uh, was able to reflect back on that past. And so having that arc of Jays and then the arc of the story of uh, enslaved people and then later uh, free people who worked and lived in the Jay households um, gave me a really interesting way to get at what I see as some of the central issues of not only U.S. history, but also New York history, which have to do with the, the meaning and substance of freedom um, and how uh, ideas are both uh, transformed and transferred from generation to generation. Uh, and this became my central concern. And, it, and the reason it took so long is because um, the deeper you get into a family's history uh, and the more characters you want to bring in uh, black and white into the story, the, um, the more branches of the tree occur, the more things you want to track down. So it became a, uh, a, a wonderful uh, experience to go usually in the summertime uh, and sometimes virtually to some of New York State's uh, most uh, wonderful archives. And uh, the J, many of the J papers are in uh, held at Columbia University, but many of them are also held at the uh, J Homestead. Uh, as I said, the New York Historical Society has some of the papers. And I also uh, went to Syracuse to look at the Garrett Smith papers, since he was a, um, an intimate of William J's, as well as Frederick Douglass's. Um, uh, in pursuit of this story uh, of the ways in which um, the issue that was most likely to break apart the nation upon which the reputation of the Jay family was founded, the United States, the issue that was most likely to destroy that nation uh, was the issue of slavery. And so watching the family uh, navigate uh, this past and present, or uh, their present, um, became a sort of... Uh, a, passionate pursuit of mine. And uh, as and what resulted was my book, Liberty's Chain, uh, from which uh, many of the ideas and stories from my New York Archives article uh, emanate. And um, hopefully that gives you a taste of what I've been up to. And, um, and I'm thrilled uh, to have the opportunity to share my some of my findings, particularly about William J, who I think is the kind of, there is a hero uh, to my book. I think William J is, is that person uh, to share. Uh, I don't want to say forgotten, but a sort of understudied and not entirely uh, uh, celebrated figures in the anti-slavery movement. Um, and someone who sort of, whose life was uh, lived almost entirely in New York, but the implications of that life uh, emanated throughout the entire nation. Um, and so hopefully the article serves as an invitation uh, into the story of slavery and freedom in New York and in the United States, uh, and that it will pique your interest. 
uh, and that you'll pursue this subject further, either from reading more of uh, my stuff or the many other amazing men and women who have uh, worked in this field over the past generation. Thank you.